Steve, thank you. The atmosphere building tremendously. You had to turn up early to get your seat here today. Amy Sheather, young Australian bowler in the development squad for Australia. She's our marker today. Dreaming of being on this stage one day herself. Val Smith is the lead for New Zealand in the triples that will decide the series between these two fierce rivals. And one of the young guns of Australian bowls who has made it to national level is Lindsay Armitage, 21-year-old from the Gold Coast. And didn't she lead beautifully in the pairs earlier in the series in Shubak? Started well today too, Quentin. Interesting, and the trial ends. Well, some people say the roll up. Val Smith, oh, she is knocking the paint off the jack. But well, interesting to see how her correction is here. Well, close as it falls in. Looks like it's points early to Armitage. Was that someone's mobile phone going off while she was about just to bowl? A, just, Gee whiz. Just as Lindsay del was delivering the bowl. And look uh, at the result. At the start of a, a deciding there, match, that is Plus the last can. thing you want. Where's the security to <laughs> eject them from the stadium, Shuey? Well, Rocky Stone, the bowls coordinator here, he could fill in that role. Beefy character, Rocky. <laughs> Sharon Sims from Manawatu. Uh, regular viewers would remember Rocky Stone, who made the semi final Australian That's indoor good. singles Stay two years there, ago. Dunny, blue ones for, it's just a bowl in front, but it's that far from the jack. Little touch on the jack's good. And the second for Australia is Australia's singles competitor here, Roma Dunn. From Mandara, south of Perth, competes at Dudley Park. saw in the singles in particular that uh, if one team is slow to start multiple counts early in the first and second oh, sets can prove telling so as ball. much as you want to find your range early on Shuey as Sharon Sims has been able to do one of the main things even if you struggle early on is not Just concede down, a multiple count so it's good to hear Karen Murphy clearly Giving instructions and what she's looking for from Roma Dunn. Australia have the only two bowls behind the jack. In the area. Come on, Dunny. Needs contact. And misses everything. Couldn't have done that if she tried. <laughs> You'll see a fair bit of expression in Super Series bowls today. Good atmosphere, good crowd at Warilla. So much at stake and positive body language when you get a number of players out on the rink. Joe Edwards, however, she's good at the positive body language, Shuey, but 
doesn't she uh, have her own idiosyncrasies? A, a stern look to the carpet each time she delivers. Yeah, it's unusual dropping the head at the point of delivery or just after delivering. Yep. Oh, okay, well a handy little nudge off the front pole and that you call it, could Mark. be three call to it. New Zealand. Yep, you're through there, Karen. As we see the peak of that black cap turn towards the carpet after the release. Karen Murphy, who now represents St John's Park in Sydney, but for a couple of years was a member of this very club. Lives only five minutes up the road. It's as close as it could be to her backyard. Australia do have three bowls waiting at the back of the rink. So Joe Edwards now being asked by Sharon Sims to draw near Sharon's foot at the back, covering the danger. Good stuff. Good. A big question asked of Karen Murphy early on. We were talking about multiple counts. That's what New Zealand holds at the moment. Opportunity though, Quinnan, for Karen to score a multiple count. Any movement of the jack would be good. So who will take the early momentum? Murphy needs some luck. Devoid of it. Three. I'd say two and perhaps three. three. Well. Not even needing a measure for the third. And there is the multiple count. Again, how many times do we see it to start a set? It's the Kiwis who get it in the deciding triples to lead it 3-0 after one. Roma Dunn from West Australia. Playing second today. Wasn't too happy with that ball, but then she was happy for the high five and... Well, exasperation. You'll see a lot of emotion out there today. Kiwis keep the mat. Val Smith to start the second end. How hard is it to control the emotions in a contest like this, Shuey? Australia versus New Zealand. We know the rivalry. It's the deciding match. The stands are packed. There's plenty of people out on the rink. Well, some, well, that's an excellent opening goal from Val Smith and nicely falling in behind the jack. Some players, Quentin, prefer to be pumped up and engage the crowd. That's like Karen Murphy. Size two heavyweight. Lindsay used to play with a size one. Uh, but other players actually play their best bowls when oh, steely Pretty determination. Good, and good reply. That's great, Lindsay. Well done. Very I think it's very important for a skip to be... To be heard by the crowd, the players, clear, concise calls. Size four heavyweight bowl used by Vel. She has started in brilliant fashion in the second end. Come on, nice track. Come on, mate. Come on. When it comes to leading in two bowl triples, that is about as good as you can get. So the young Queenslander has pressure on her shoulders early on. Responded brilliantly in the pairs. It's a whole new concept. New match, new feel. And missing the line. Let's see here, mate. See if you can finish on the side of the, the head. It's going to go there. Anywhere in here. There's a good example from Joe Edwards just asking Sharon. Size four heavyweight bowl. Previously played with a size five. Anticipating where the jack may finish up. Draw just behind and preferably wide. That's, oh, that's, that's pretty good. That's brilliant. Well played, mate. Yeah, there, Ryan. there. Just on the draw. A confident draw down there. You get the touch on the jack's good for us. 
confident draw <laughs> means on the draw shot, don't drive, but try not to drop short. The extra weighted bowl that Roma uses, mainly because in Perth, very windy conditions on fast greens. Yeah, I like weight. Hold the line a lot better. Needs a slide off the front bowl. Yeah, or just knocks it out altogether, so saving one. Hey, mate, you draw away. You beat your own bowl, you'd be very close for another. Still that opening bowl from Val Smith, just illustrating how important the lead roll is. Teamwork, the body language as both Smith and Edwards follow it all the way in, and that's another terrific bowl from Sharon Sims. Few Aussie you know, fans like are stunned. Terrific pressure being applied. A concerned look through the gap. So Very again, well as the skips come to the mat, Karen Murphy of Australia under pressure. So important that yeah. communication, yeah. isn't it, Chew? And it's so different from playing singles when you've got teammates out on the rink. Not only teammates, club mates in the case of Joe Edwards and Val Smith played a lot of lot together, not just bowls, but other sports. Represented Nelson in six or seven various sports, uh, size four heavyweight. That's quite a large bowl for a female player. Most the average bowl would be twos and size three for most female players, but a lot depends on how you grip the bowl. It determines whether you can handle a larger bowl or not and where the thumb is positioned. Now Karen may go very quick at this head. Two down. No coincidence, the smaller of stature, Karen Murphy with the smaller bowl, and we saw Roma Dunn with the size four. Tall like Joe Edwards. Joe. Murphy leaving it out to dry and missing everything. Yep. I think we might see a wide bowl here trying to draw near that spot there on the rink. That's where the jack may be respotted, and I think Karen will go very quick with her last bowl. Maybe try to propel the jack off the rink. Joe Edwards may anticipate that. Well, she's not going to draw out to that spot. You like but that way, guys? That's New Zealand's last bowl of the second end. Let's Murphy. A little bit careful here, Quinn, and there is there's two Australian bowls near the jack, and the only two near the jack. It is possible to remove both Australian bowls. Here's an intent chase. Takes one away. But it's another multiple count for New Zealand. Only the two this time, but... Add that to the three from the opening end, and it's a terrific start for the visitors. 5-0 after two ends in this triples, which will decide the series. And one of the reasons why the Kiwis have been doing so well has been the leading of Val Smith. Terrific start. Encouraged by the skip. And then following it up brilliantly. Too many spare seats in the crowd today. Smith starts the third. Like line. And at the moment, pardon the pun, but it's been all black. That's brilliant, Val. Great stuff. Good ball, mate. Also, Queen, an obvious tactic here that the New Zealand side are preferring the longer length jacks. I'm sure that when Australia Track wins an end, end, they will shorten the length up. Hurry. Hurry. 
Always more difficult to get out of trouble on a long end if you're two or three shots down, as no Karen Murphy has there. been. It's, uh, over a yard. Get past that, it'll be good. Terrifically colourful spectacle. Modern bowls, you see, so defined the nation's colours on display. Sure. Athletic valid, Val uh, Smith Cut. again. Oh, wow. Following up Brilliant. with a, another yeah. terrific awesome. combination of lead bowls. See that necklace that Lindsay Armitage is wearing? She's a Sagittarian. And it's a uh, Sagittarius necklace that she's wearing. She um, well needs a bit of hope from yeah, above, no, I suppose. Stars not just in alignment for her at the moment. Oh, I think Lindsay prefers the shorter length jack. And nice position to play second to a winning lead. And that's what Sharon Sims, in the last few ends, he's been going to the mat up and just been that's able good. to consolidate. Backhand looks out of the question now. That's not bad. Remember Dunn defeating Sharon Sims in the Australian Open in Melbourne earlier in 2005. Oh, I don't think you're going to like this much. Yes, at the Yarraville Footscray Club. Well, Roma had a feeling she was going to be short, and I think Karen Murphy will like that bowl. Both hands are blocked now, almost on the draw. Okay, sure, mate. You're only uh, oh, six inches out of counting. You beat your own. wonder whether there's a few memories from that trip to the yeah. southern capital earlier this year with Sims and Dunn That's all right. playing second against yeah, each other. Good thinking. <laughs> Round your own run. Second shot's good. You beat the green one's good. Pretty rare to see uh, a couple of players who have made a singles final play second against each other in a triples event. It's unusual, and Sharon Sims only went in the Australian Open singles for experience, Gwen, and she did not get an automatic entry. Had to win her way through the qualifying event into the main draw. Went on to defeat Roma Dunn in the final. Oh, lose to Roma Dunn in the final. Great e singles effort from Sharon Sims. Well, just as was the case in the second end, Karen Murphy strides to the mat behind on the scoreboard and on the head. There's plenty going through her mind. You just have to wonder how she's going to tackle this. Oh, I'm sure Karen has a shot in her mind at the moment, but she cannot play yet. She'll be visualising the shot and hoping that Joe Edwards does not block the path to the jack. It would appear that both hands are blocked on the draw line. That is drawing to the jack. I think we might see weight from Karen. Australia need to take a risk. Forehand with weight, I would say, searching through the gap, hoping to remove the two bowls here. Uh, Australia are two down at the moment. So Karen Murphy looking for the shot bowls or the jack. Uh, playing the defensive draw line. Hoping to squeeze around that earlier bowl. Come on, slip this. Miss it. It has missed it. Oh, that is a terrific forehand draw. Oh, ye of little faith, Ian Shoeback. Wow, the toughest, the toughest shot of all. Karen Murphy just sliding around the Roma Dunn bowl, drawing the shot and a toucher. Brilliant. Oh, wow, didn't I love that? That was of the highest class now, Joe Edwards. Showing some he force. Wants she wants it out he of there. Feet. Ping pong. Oh, that's four to Australia. Oh, absolute disaster. It is 
most likely two. I think the blue bowl. Just Get, close, Get. Jack goes back up the rink. Had it gone a bit further. Stand up, Jack Boy, Danny. <laughs> well, well, is is the blue bowl at the bottom of screen a counter or not? That would be third shot, and that is a, a Val Smith bowl. So. Unlucky result for Joe Edwards, but Karen Murphy, I would suspect, drawing for third shot, holding two. Karen Murphy has set this match alight. Still be interested to see when they do assess the head. Well, that's three. Yeah. That's three out? Yeah. When they're that far away, it is always a little tougher and the angle can be a little deceptive. Well, it's three out and it's a measure for four, maybe five. Lindsay Armitage's short bowls are being potentially measured maybe in the count. Either way, three is a good result for Australia. Well, that's, that's four. That's definitely a counter. But not the five, it is four. Karen Murphy produces a miraculous draw shot and then the ricochet off the Joe Edwards drive gives the Aussies some luck and gets them back into it with a count of four in the third end. This is Karen Murphy draw shot, two down. Absolutely perfect. Sometimes it's a wise choice to concede one. If you play weight, strange things can happen. New Zealand looking good. Yes, that's okay. Oh, no. Hang on. One, two, three, four down. Australia with the mat for the fourth end, and already it is noticeable that the end is a much shorter one. Yeah, I like your weight. Short jack for Lindsay Armitage. Terrific start to this contest. High scoring, high drama. Trans Tasman pride on the line. Thanks, Willie. I'm pretty good. Oh, oh ball, mate. Brilliant. Ball now. Again, a world class Thanks, opening bowl from Val Smith, and it looks pretty easy on the monitor, Shuey, but a man of your ability who played at this level just explain how tough it is to come back from drawing to a long jack to a, a much shorter end that we're playing here in the fourth well it is a great first bowl for Val That's Smith Queen and but I don't think Roma Dunn or Karen Murphy would have too much trouble converting Val Smith's bowl is jack high presents a, not only a visual guide but good opportunity to rest on the bowl or trail the jack but it's a monstrous change from 33 metres down to 25. Yeah. Val Smith, one on and one far, behind. Right? Draw down there, mate. That is an example of how difficult it is. Just one bowl out of four right near the jack after three long ends. <laughs> Roma Dunn missing mate. the weight. That's uh, behind the jack. Right there, touch the jack to right. Manchester, the scene of the last Commonwealth Games. The next will be on Australian turf. Joe Edwards and Sharon Sims winning the gold medal at Manchester in the pairs. Karen Murphy winning the silver medal for Australia in the singles. Hello. Well, Cameron Curtis, the Australian coach on the left, and Beck Dillon, the high performance sports psychologist in the middle, and Stu Butter, the New Zealand coach. Done needing to find a metre or so of weight. Yep, two seconds, two good seconds, that's good. Mine's very good. Very well Only a couple of feet. Uh, 
asked the question how difficult after long ends to come back to short. You've only got to have a look at the picture of the head, Quinnan. Just one bowl near the jack. Spread everywhere. <laughs> oh, gee whiz, that uh, <laughs> the expression from Sharon, Sharon Sims there, realising, oh, got a bit scared. <laughs> now, it's a, it is a stranger looking head than we've seen, Shuey. So, what are the uh, the two skips thinking about? Sharon Sims was a little perturbed about her effort. Yeah, well, <laughs> what did she do? That what happened? Oh, sorry. Oh, gust of wind. <laughs> I think Karen will play wait, meter away, try to turn the bowl out. Has two seconds, second and third shot. So. Just overdraw weight, looking to rest on the blue bowl okay. or trail the jack. Come on, go! Hold up! Go! Hold up! Harry. Go! Harry. Harry. Another brilliant forehand draw shot from Karen Murphy. Have a light, darling. Get it there. As she did the previous end. Go! Finding a brilliant forehand draw to give the Aussies the momentum. Intensity, am I there? All right. But there's still three bowls to play this end. Joe and Edwards. Two of them belong to Joe Edwards. Looking for the jack. Well, that's not such a great result. Well, we're probably only holding one now, one in the measure, but if you can beat this bowl, you get another counter. It's your bowl that was behind, isn't it? That's right. Golden Nugget on the Gold Coast at Tweed Heads. Just south of the Gold Coast, to be technically correct, on the southern down. side of the New South Wales-Queensland border. Murphy's been able to repeat the dose again. And that is terrific skipping from the local hero. Get down onto that ball, Joe. You can have weights up here. Quality bowling from both skips. Touch him, touch him. Yeah. A question asked of Edwards once more. Wants to rattle the head. Oh, you get to it. Yes. Is yeah. it going to stay in play? I think so. Great, great result. I think it is one to New Zealand. Great bowl from Joe Edwards. That's about 20 centimetres or so. You can see, oh, yeah, Chewy, yeah, yeah. the edge of the yeah, rink. Okay. Hard to see now with Val Smith standing, but there is a very thin piece of fishing okay. wire which indicates the edge of the rink. And should the jack have been projected off it, it would have been spotted all the way down the bottom. But as it stands, it's still in play. And it is Australia's. No, it's New Zealand's. It's the Kiwis who take the end after some confusion and they restore some momentum. 6 4 after 4. Into the fifth. And every end has been enjoyable. Interestingly, though, New Zealand has won three of the four. The brilliance of Karen Murphy ensuring that big four count for Australia in the third end. She's hardly missed a beat throughout the series, Val Smith Shuey led better in every game she's played and I think Val definitely prefers the longer length jacks. Lindsay Armitage probably been outled by Val on the long ends but it's been dropping too many short bowls on the long length. If 
you are going to fail as a lead with your first bowl, it's always better to fail heavy, not fail short. Makes it more difficult for subsequent players and the skips. 11 centre titles, which to our Australian viewers may not mean much, but uh, it's like association titles, just one short of a national title, and that is fantastic. You know, it's Jack I, you can sit off the bowl or just draw under the Jack there. Very strong bowling centre around Nelson in New Zealand. Same centre that uh, Joe Edwards belongs to. Now, Lindsay Armitage looking for one Come metre on, extra running. Good things happen when you're up, mate. Come on. Karen Murphy's trying to give it some encouragement. Is it up? You got him. That's the way. Yes, it is. Well played. Got a great rapport as we saw in the pairs, Armitage and Murphy. Mind you, one strength that we have seen throughout this series. It seems she would be great respect and enjoyment that both teams get from playing with each other. There is a really good unity about both of them, and I think that's one of the reasons why we've seen such a good series. Here's the enjoyment that Karen and Lindsay Murphy, uh, Lindsay Armitage and Karen Murphy got out of the last bowl. Also great respect for the opposition players from both Australia and New Zealand, Quinn, and keen rivalry over the years. Australia won the Trans-Tasman Trophy or retained the Trans-Tasman Trophy earlier this year, but the New Zealand Open women's side defeated Australia two tests to one. New Zealand in the last four or five years have had the reputation of being having the strongest women's team in the world. And that is something that the Australian side is very conscious of. Oh, I want to give it more. Come on, Sharon. Come on. Pitch the blue. Pitch the blue. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Sharon Sims now. Well, in a sense, Shuey, hard to remember to put the microphone up and uh, keep broadcasting because you just find yourself watching. It has been brilliant entertainment. Great listening to the skips too. call the shots. Raymer Dunn looking for movement of the jack. Little slide off Armitage's bowl. Oh, found a gap. <laughs> Handy bowl behind. <laughs> Very important there when you're playing weight not to lose your bowl in the ditch if you miss and find the gaps. And Raymond Dunn's bowl is actually a very good receptive bowl now for the Australian skip Karen Murphy. A few quiet whispers from behind the head from the Kiwis. Oh, she didn't look down at the rink on that occasion, Joe Edwards. Don't know whether that's a good or a bad sign. We'll find out. Good, Joe. Good. Oh, a bit like the bowl itself. Not totally good, not totally bad. Good title that Karen Murphy claimed recently under position for her singles berth for the Australian team, not playing singles here. I've got a feeling Australia maybe just one down, Quinn, and that's why Karen is not playing a lot of weight. Punch the Armitage bowl up. No. Pretty good weight. It's definitely You're one to New Zealand. Hard with that bowl. You can be into there. Look to turn that. Get into that there. Uh, looking at our concentric circles, oh, definitely two shots. So maybe more weight required from Karen Murphy. It's easy to play with more weight. When you play delicate weight, the bowl, as it's slowing down, starts the bias. 
takes all the effect as the bowl slows. So it's a lot easier to play conversion shots with more weight. Okay. Lindsay Armitage has two short bowls to be knocked up. Go. Murphy one down, her go last go. bowl of the fifth end. Promotes yeah. and takes two. Yeah. Is it two? Indeed it is. Another piece of brilliance from the Aussie skip. Yeah. And a pump of the fist. Back on level terms at the halfway point of this terrific first set. Well, the series is up for grabs. And nervous tension, excitement. Almost just as entertaining watching the reaction as it is watching the fine bowls out on the rink. Let's go, Aussies, let's go, Lynn. So the sixth end begins. Only eight ends in the triples compared to the ten end sets that are played in the pairs and the singles. Three ends to two, but that's not the main score. Six shots apiece is what they're playing at. Tough question for you, Shuey. Well, first of all, the effective rates. Uh, that's uh, on, somewhat low, and that's also an indication of how much pressure is it and what's at stake in this match. The series oh, is on the line. Have you sensed a position which may break either way for either nation? Well, the tactic's pretty clear. Australia preferring short jacks, but on this occasion, Val Smith has got the better of Lindsay Armitage with the opening bowl. Said at the start of the match that Lindsay just overcorrecting in the introduction that I, I felt it may be a battle of the skips, and there's Australian skip talking to Australian coach Cameron Curtis. What tactics to employ? That's quite legal in international play. The players can seek advice from the national coach. Uh, I think it will be a battle of the skips. Just who has the better individual game between Joe Edwards and Karen Murphy? Keep coming. Come on. Come on. Yeah, There's nothing good. safe on the rink. <laughs> We've seen brilliant conversion shots. Two down, Johnny. It's half a ball in front or so. You'll draw that. A lot of our non-bowling viewers who are uh, fans of other regular sports would be very interested in the the fact that the coach is allowed to speak to the players of course the tennis fans runner. would know that only ever happens in Davis Sorry. Cup Fed Cup ah. you can lose a match if you coach from the stands Next in one, tennis mate. in an individual Second. tournament Fair here, mate. yes well, when you're representing your country in bowls you are allowed to seek the advice of the national coach and that is a rule from the world bowls board so it's quite legal and it's something the players really do appreciate. Obviously, the national coach. Uh, pretty good. That's a fair say in selection. It's pretty important uh, to follow the advice of uh, Cameron oh. Curtis. He's won a world title in the Commonwealth Games gold medal. Cameron Curtis. That's all that. He's still in okay. there, right? The track's good. Jack high bowl. Done needing to put one close for Australia here. Yeah, this is building up to an, a very ugly head. There's no. No shot to rest on. Murphy would like a close bowl. May have the gas, but is there a traffic jam? Well, it's almost impossible to draw the shot. Either way, mate. You still just drop them around that one. You get just round it, you'll be close. Not impossible for New Zealand. They're holding two and only need to draw. Half a metre wide of the jack would be a third shot. So Karen Murphy, yeah, she good, will be right? under considerable pressure. Now two down. And unfortunately for Karen Murphy, still just two down. Well, we've seen some brilliance from Murphy throughout the contest. Joe Edwards, by the way, has been bowling quite well, as well. They've seen the head. They're pondering their thoughts. 
And Shubak, what's going through their minds? Three shots on. Karen's bowled us, turn a bit. She can draw the shot there. She can draw narrow on the backhand or play weight through these two bowls and follow through. That's probably the easiest shot. That's the shot I would play. Backhand, a couple of metres of weight, looking for solid contact on the short bowls or enough weight to swallow the jack clean. You've called it well. That's what she's after. The right one here. Ben. It's going to miss them. Right. Good up for Karen. You just draw there, Joe. If you draw to that bowl, if you happen to get on the back of ours, tuck it on the way past, it's good. That's where you need to improvise as a skip. There's no direct path to the jack on the draw, so some type of weight is going to be needed again. I think Karen should go perhaps a little bit quicker. Yeah. What do you think, Ryan? Good. Well done. That way I want to try. I can't draw it under there, I don't think. It's got to run away. Like, sit and run off the blue, and if I'm inside it, I get the jack. If what? Beg, beg your pardon, I'm back. Sit and run off the blue or inside, get the jack. Like, play positively to it, do you think? That's the shot. <laughs> Firmer weight. Needs to come underneath the blue bowl and swallow the jack. Or blue bowl solid and run through. Well, under the 10 seconds on the shot clock before Murphy got the shot away, but get a slide in off this bed. now she needs some luck, missing the gap. Yeah. <laughs> well, that is more good fortune than good execution. And she realises it as well. Well, your luck starts when you reach the head, and she had plenty of weight to reach off the short Australian bowl, onto Val Smith's bowl, fall over. Two down, wick, wick, wick. Oh, that'll do. One up. <laughs> but Joe Edwards, one bowl to play. Looking for the Murphy bowl. You got the bowl. That's a head saving bowl from Joe Edwards. She has managed to come from one down to one up. There were more ricochets than in uh, Tommy the Rock Musical there. The pinball wizard would have got a good run at the end of that. But as it turns out, it's a Kiwi head and with two ends to play, New Zealand back in front. Murphy finding her own slice of luck and bouncing around the place to give Australia control. Unfortunately, for the Aussies, the angles work for Edwards as well. Won the difference with two to play. And when you consider that this is the deciding match in this three-match series, pairs going to Australia, singles going to New Zealand, good. you want good contests to decide what has been a good series to this point, and it has not disappointed in the least. I'm sure the spectators, both here and at home, Quinnan, would like to see this go to the third end of the tiebreaker. Lindsay Armitage won't. She's already provided some brilliance in a tiebreaker. It was actually the second end of a tiebreaker when she played a terrific conversion shot to win Australia the pairs. Weight's good. Yeah, so it goes. Looting before Val Smith, immensely talented sportswoman. Good again, mate. The New Zealand soccer squad, as well as representing her region in four or five other sports. Change She's hands. hardly missed a beat. It has been a terrific performance. Well, Lindsay Armitage, even though she's leading for Australia, high performance team Lindsay insists that they have the skill to play conversion shots. On, Switches to the forehand, on, looking to Lindsay. move the jack. Oh. Off the shot bowl, yeah. runs oh, through. Yes. Brilliant, Lindsay Armitage. <laughs> and to take the initiative. Well, maybe remembering her yep. shot. Wrap up okay. the pairs. <laughs> Similar type of shot. <laughs> Off the short bowl, onto the other. Happy. 
must win end really for Australia. They would not want to go into the last end two or more behind. Just one trailing by one with this and another end to play. Terrific answer from Sims. I think that's a New Zealand shot. Yes, one up is the indication. You're just playing a meter of weight through the head you don't need to narrow the line too much and Roma Dunn has a heavily biased bowl let's watch this bowl swing now as it slows down good Roma well done come on that's good yeah I don't like doing it you, you change your hand mate it's gonna if it gets any touch it's gonna almost go sideways eh? so on this side of the head so already a bit of insurance sought from Joe Edwards, the skip of her second. Sharon Sims. Good example how important it is to look forward one or two bowls and figure out what the opposition are going to play and where the jack may finish up. Oh, that's not all bad, eh? Okay. Down there, Rome. Split's good. You can get, can get the two bowls without the jack there. You play it confidently for, for the split. So Murphy asking for some weight. Not a bad idea to allow your teammate to play the weight that they prefer to play. So a lot easier to play more weight. Backhand. Roma Dunn has plenty. Close, Danny, I got one of them. Line looks pretty good. good. One goes. That's great. Well done. And importantly, took good. Val Smith's bowl out. So Australia have all the receptive bowls now in a catching position. And with one the difference with one to play after this end it just shows you how important this seventh end will be and again how important the four bowls of the two respective skips will be when there is not much room at all to move i think the danger for joe edwards quentin is just behind the jack about one meter I don't think Joe will try to draw another shot. New Zealand holding one. It's almost impossible to draw a second. I think Joe would like to finish just behind. There's two Australian bowls just behind. There's one coming into view and there's another one just below. So that's a very good bowl from Joe Edwards. Karen Murphy, forehand, just over draw weight, trying to push the New Zealand bowl out, hopefully not moving the jack okay. too far. Well, it's missed everything and it's gone swimming. Try and beat my now. Yep. New Zealand holding one, leading by one, with one to play after this end. And this one from Joe Edwards is the last for New Zealand in the seventh. Okay. Yeah, for sure. You know, the outside of this, the inside edge. Same again, Shuey, and hope for a better result. Well, I think Karen might be better off to play more weight, but Roma is more conservative in her thinking. And But Karen asked advice, said, yeah, similar weight, tough shot to play. Made contact, but again, the New Zealand shot ball remains in place, and now the Kiwis are in a very strong position to claim this first set. But there's been some multiple counts. What will we see in the eighth end? The Kiwis have the advantage by two. And we mentioned earlier on, Lindsay Armitage playing a brilliant bowl. This is the second end of the tiebreak in the pairs. Yes, the Australian lead was pretty happy. Mum and Dad cheering on. It's the Amity's from Helensvale on the Gold Coast. That was the bowl that ultimately gave Australia the 1 0 lead in the series before Joe Edwards defeated Roma Dunn in the singles to bring okay. us back on level terms. 
to ensure that this triples would decide the series. A packed house for the last end of the first set. It's been a terrific exhibition. I'm a little surprised that Joe Edwards did not elect to give the matter away. Uh, Vel Smith, the lead, did ask the skip what Joe Thanks wanted. And Joe that, said, no, Mark. take the mat. Karen Murphy will have last bowl to play on this last end. The reason why it's always good to have last bowl in a situation like this, if Karen Murphy played her last and made two shots, Joe Edwards then would have the opportunity to drive just one of the shots out to win the end and the set. But Lindsay Armitage hasn't been leading as well in this opening set as we saw in the pairs match. And when you need a couple to draw on level terms and three to go to the front, Certainly it's not going to help with bowls left at the top of the head. No, short and narrow were <laughs> probably the well, least desired on. area to finish. That's a great start, Val. Well done. Let's go, Lynn. You'll draw this. Karen Murphy, this is how the skips think, would all, already be thinking of backhand with weight to convert the head onto the Val Smith bowl, but she wants Lindsay to draw close first. The effective rate... Australia dropping back. Come on. Well, the liquid chalk is applied, but it's still one to New Zealand. Well, it's easier here. You beat that ball there, Sharon. Yeah, a bit of cover for that jack as well. Well, that's right. It's actually the two bowls, the New Zealand shot bowl and Lindsay Armitage's last bowl. They the gap's just too big to really rely on a good. good result to plant. It's too Coming much of a gap. I think Roma Dunn will need to open the head up or play okay, weight, try to remove Brilliant. the blue bowl now. Interesting to hear what Karen Murphy Look, asks just for. Play, just over the draw, you can get around the, the red one, sit the blue, and if you're tight, you'll turn ours under the jack a little. Well, that's pretty clear. We heard plan A, we heard plan B. Can the West Australian execute? <coughs> Very important not to be wide when you're playing weight. And this is why. Other hand, mate. Sorry. It's all right. This side of the That's deck, OK. Right? That last bowl oh, of room is <laughs> two metres from the ditch. And the Armitage Bowl, the second nearest to the jack, is a toucher, has touched the jack. So Murphy's already maybe thinking she could drive the Armitage Bowl onto the jack and a Lindsay's Bowl would remain alive. It finished in the ditch. Another clever tactical call from Joe Edwards. Right, well, they realise they lead by know, two and hold let's, one shot. That's good. And that's good. Right, no and wasting one, time to get the insurance. Joe Edwards is thinking, we've got this set. It's Australia's to win. But we're not going to lose it by doing anything silly. No, it's a, a safe one, if there's such a thing too, Quinn. And Val Smith's bowl is hidden to some extent. Well, wide, two in a row for Roma Dunn, which is putting a lot of pressure on Murphy. And why not take a while to have a look? Because it is again going to rely on some brilliance out of the fingers of Karen Murphy if Australia is to get out of this first set. Kiwis at the moment. The bookies would be twiddling them into the red. Yeah, and I don't think it'll be coming out of Karen's fingers, Quentin. I think it might be coming from the shoulder. Might have a fair, <laughs> bit, of, a fair bit of body weight. Grunt, not touch. Yes, I, I think Karen will be attacking on the backhand. New Zealand, meanwhile, and Joe Edwards, she's had a pretty smart game again. Is she saying the jack's going to go right of screen? But maybe a full-blooded drive on the backhand. Armitage's bowl, as I said, is a toucher. So drive Lindsay Armitage's bowl onto the jack. 
Narrow line with weight. Too narrow. Fifteen seconds on the shot clock. Let's see if Edwards gets it away in time. Yeah, well, New Zealand have not got the best back bowl. I'm a little surprised that they're looking to draw another close bowl. Mind you, I'd much rather be in Joe Edwards' shoes at the moment than Karen Murphy's. Tough shot for Karen. Well, in reality, New Zealand <laughs> is playing with a two lead and holding one. Is there any miracle? Oh, uh, full butter drive onto Armitage's bowl. This is the last bowl of the first set. As it stands, it will belong to New Zealand. Unless no. the skip produces, which she can't. And well played to New Zealand. A subdued response from this pro-Aussie crowd, but we have seen some terrific bowls in the first set, and it's the Kiwis who win it by three. Well done to New Zealand. One set up in this deciding triple. Two ends in the first set. Granted, they were multiple counts, four and a two. But they'll need to do better in the second. So to take it to a tie break, which is the only way they can now win this match and the series. That's yeah, good. That's good, Charlie. Well played, mate. Carl Smith has been leading very solidly for New Zealand, providing a good platform for the other two. Lindsay Armitage, I'd like to hark back to that form she had in the pairs. It's a good lens. Reproduce it. Very good lens. That's the way lens. Good. Oh, lens. Well played. Good on it. I'm sure young Lindsay Armitage, sure he would have been telling himself, OK, to start the second set, what I've got to do is get on top of Val Smith here a little easier for my teammates good. yeah maybe talk to the skip might see Lindsay change to the other side of the rink that's all, always a possibility Val Smith led exceptionally well today out of Armitage already in the second set like that <laughs> not afraid to convert <laughs> Australian uh, selector Shirley Blackwell and Brian Marsland the vice president of Bowls Australia doing some stats there on player performances a couple of times in this match and once famously in the pairs Lindsay's uh, stepped up to the plate early in an end to play a conversion shot. All right. We are on right. But, uh, not far away. Jump on it out there. Sure. Roma Dunn. A little quiet in that first set. She's be looking to lift, make more of a contribution here. Give her some confidence. Right, 
That's just good. Just keep adding, should we? Well, ideally, Steve, just a resting front touch or just a delicate touch on the jack would be ideal for Roma. Same bowl, just half a roll, less All weight. Right. Track's good for your bowl. It's actually better to finish on the left-hand side of the jack as we're looking instead of on the right. forehand and backhand draw. The draw line to the jack is blocked, so Joe Edwards now will be forced to play some type of weight. I think that last uh, Roma Dunn bowl is counting. Yeah, I, I think this bowl here, Joe Edwards, that's Val Smith's bowl. I think Joe will be working with some weight looking for that bowl. The only other shot is play weight through the gap. But there's holes everywhere on the backhand with weight. It's better to play forehand. Amy Shiva suggesting it's just two, actually, for Australia. First and second set. New Zealand, the first nine six. And they won six of the eight ends. Right, wait, Joe. Oh, Joe Edwards had draw weight worth reaching a line. So I'm not too sure whether draw whether Joe was trying to draw or reach. We'll certainly know next time all top players will only correct on one item either line or length will not change both generally if they can avoid it Australians would like to bounce out of the blocks here at the start of the second set with a big count could be on their way that's certainly three now we'll see if Joe Edwards plays the same Your weight in, with a right wider up. line as we watch the Murphy Bowl coming in for number three. In, right right up, okay. And falls out. out. All right, how many? Turn that over or just slip inside that. I'm not sure how many Australia's holding. I heard Val Smith say you've, you may have cut a couple out. I saw a, a two fingered gesture from Rama Dunn and it was a polite one. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, she well, feels they're holding uh, too. Well, in that case, a conservative draw shot is required. Get around it. Oh, and stay. Oh, oh maybe, maybe. Those fans are hoping more than maybe. Well, I just saw Val Smith look at Joe Edwards and had four fingers down, Steve. That's <laughs> an impolite result for New Zealand if that's the case. Well, Gee. maybe that's wishful thinking. Roma was wrong once or twice in her singles match. That she could be right here if our circles are any guide. But we'll leave it to Amy Sheva. She's measured the closest New Zealand bowl. good yeah. that one's good four, four. and right they'll take girls. they'll take four and run <laughs> terrific start to the second set for Australia needing it having dropped the first Karen Murphy's final bowl into the count
not satisfied with uh, just taking the four and repeating the length of end. Uh, the mat is up. And Australia's looking to test the Kiwis out on a different on, looking Lenz. length, shall we? Lindsay has brought the mat up eight metres, rolled the jack to the tee. So it's a 25 metre yeah, length. See a faint mark there just behind Val on the right, over near the edge there. There's a little white mark on the rink that's taped to indicate where the maximum distance allowable that you can take the mat up. And, and Lindsay's just short of that mark. Oh, that's a beautiful bowl for Val Smith. You see that mark there, uh, either side of the rink, there's a tape on the carpet that indicates to the players how far they can take the mat up. Hurry. Hurry, to get a roll out of that short bowl, it, eh? doesn't do it. Minimum length in international rules, and that's what we are playing in this series, is 23 metres. 21 metre is minimum length under domestic Australian rules. So those marks on the side there indicate 23 metres from the tee. done onto the open backhand. Well, a little surprise at that call. I think the forehand is more open. The no good crashing on Lindsay's short bowl is better off to crash on the shot bowl, the blue bowl above the jack. This can sort of force a player to go wide and in Fine, this case good. heavy. Good enough to work off out here. You play there, Sharon. Go on for Val. Beat the blue one here. Roma Dunn was a little better in the previous end, but a wayward first bowl on the backhand from her. Look at that effective rate, quite even, and a few wayward bowls today, but that's a sign of how much pressure these players face when they're on the mat. Stay on, you're right. Yeah, well done. That's right. Just wanted to mate. stay on the rink, it does. Yes, it's already looking like a drive through the gap. You can see there from the mat end, the jack is available. A forehand drive. I'm sure Karen Murphy would like Roma to draw near the jack instead of driving. Come on, Dunny. Here, Dunny. Still. You drop a yard and you're right on it. Uh, didn't lose anything. Oh, that's how difficult it is, Stephen. You bring the mat up eight metres, that's a massive change. And the shortest end of the match, 25 metres. Sometimes you drop a big count when the bowls are not near the jack. So at the moment, New Zealand holding it looks like two shots. And this could be uh, not number three, just dying on the run. It's died on the line as well. So Murphy, she go on the hand that she suggested Roma Dunn go to? Well, I think she should play forehand, Steve. I may be wrong, but I think it's more room on the Jack forehand. Place, well, it looks to be shaping up on the backhand. Roma's saying, yeah, you can draw and just beat my toe, and that will be shot. It's the type of end as a skip you just hate to fail. Karen has over 30 centimetres of room to actually draw the shot, but she is two down. And narrower line than Roma Dunn, but is it too quick? No, it's just OK. No, it's better than OK. Kiwi staying on the forehand, Joe Edwards. Yeah, and I think she'll be overweight too, looking for Murphy's bowl, Steve. Two choices could promote Val Smith's bowl for a shot or remove Karen Murphy's. We'll find the hole. And the jack. Back it comes. And it favours Australia, I believe. Uh, Australia's one up with the jack very close to the ditch now. 
three bowls back there. Two belong to Australia, and the closest is a yellow disc bowl. And I think Karen Murphy, Karen would love to trail that Jack right through into the ditch. Yeah. Would be three shots. So holding at least one, any touch on the Jack will favour Australia. Not a lot of bending to do, and it won't bend enough, will it? Splash. Well, that's looking for the plant to push the Australian bowl out. She's narrow. She might carry the jack into the ditch, Shui. Can't play a lot of weight. Must clear the Lindsay Armitage short bowls on the backhand side of the rink. An area, Joe. Looks to have a good line. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Did it. As requested. <laughs> Not for the first time. Joe Edwards delivers. And one down to one up. And the Kiwis are on the board in the second set. But still, trail for one. Karen Murphy yeah. has been in pretty good form in this triples. And she'll need to stay in good touch if they're to win it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Roma done. And Lindsay Armitage quick to congratulate the local Karen Murphy from Black Park. Start of the third. Australia with a three-shot lead. They need to score more consistently. Just two ends they scored on in the first set. Yes, and Lindsay leading off on the forehand in this direction, Steve. I'm not there sure whether that's because of Val Smith's bowl or whether it's a team decision. Drop now. Drop now. Good start, Lindsay. That's good. doesn't like this one. That's right. We are one lens. Two feet. Always narrow. Let's go. Armitage just needs to take off a couple of feet. Come on, lens. Looking good. Come on. Karen Murphy calling it home to a good home. If you make this ball here, you'll get pretty close to second shot. It's a good start, all right. Sharon Sims. Like a track. New Zealand won't be troubled by the fact they're a few shots down. They've been the dominant side in this triple so far, and Sharon Sims just arrives and says, I can do better than Lindsay Armitage. And Sharon Sims gets the applause of Joe Edwards. A salute, it's more the word. Up, Rome. Repeat. Okay, well. Roma Dunn is the one in the Australian trio that's struggling at the moment. Yeah, that was an indifferent bowl from Roma, but I'm, she has one to play, Steve. Just needed to arrive. But the old. Aussies are uh, leading 4-1 in the second set, so it's a good position to be in. Sharon Sims, Hello. another brilliant bowl. 
But she's just drawn two. A couple of touches. Oh, just brilliant. Sharon seems going to walk up and put them any closer. Karen Murphy has asked Roma Dunn to drive at this head. Oh, needs some luck. She's off target there. So the Aussies are in a little bit of bother here in the third end of the second set with Sharon Sims delivering a couple of touches. Up to Karen Murphy and Lindsay Armitage to talk a little confidence into Ramadan. Yeah, that's where teams events are good, Steve. <laughs> when you're just struggling a little, you can talk to your teammates and Roma still shaking her head. What did I do on that end? Made worse by the fact that Sharon Sims played her best two bowls of the match, both touches, both counting. Is that a deliberate hole back yeah, there, Yeah, uh, Karen's looking at driving Lindsay Armitage's bowl onto the two shot bowls. It is possible with a solid hit here that Jack may not even move. Plenty of weight. Murphy. Okay. <laughs> short bowl's getting in the way for Dunn and Murphy. That's the target looking from the mat end. So Lindsay Armitage has third bowl, the fr front he bowl, and fourth behind. Draw it, just be par. Cat and mouse now, <laughs> anybody's guess, if Karen Murphy makes contact where the jack may be propelled to. Rarely does the jack go forward, so in this case, always better to bowl <laughs> somewhere behind. Spot. Oh, Murphy so started up the engine again. And have another good run at it. And it's off. That'll be two shots to New Zealand. They'll narrow the deficit to just one. Great start by Australia, but uh, bit by bit, Kiwis are coming back. It's 4 3 after three ends of the second set. Well, the tall Kiwi, Sharon Sims, played a couple of bombs here. One toucher. That wasn't enough. She wanted another and delivered it. <laughs> Very good. Kiwis might have got a bit of a shock with the uh, four that Australia picked up in the first end, but they've answered a single, a double. Only trail 4-3, and one would say the momentum is squarely with them again. They won six of the eight ends in the first set. They won two of the three in the second. Australia's still feeling for that consistency that will give them consecutive ends. Haven't done it yet. No, only a score on three ends, Steve, as you mentioned. That. Good ball, Mind Lindsay. you, the three good scoring right, ends. Good. Well Two fours and a double. And Lindsay Armitage has the last two bowls on the previous end, and this bowl has played the other side of the rink. So that's, a, I would say, a tactical team choice. Val Smith has been leading exceptionally well and she needs to keep that form Sun going. We'll I think all play well, a little whisper there. I don't think Lindsay was happy with that.
brushes. Run this. Last time coming this way, Roma was wide, twice. So all we're looking for Sight is that, up, I suppose, is the best you could say about it. Yes. Oh. Tip for all bowlers, Steve, when you're playing a shot like that, always best to say, well, I'm trying it. The skipper's asked me to trail the jack for two, but if I fail, it's always better if you're two down to fail heavy, not fail short. May cause a nuisance later on in this end, that Roma Dunn bowl. Now push this bowl over and block the backhand even more. Karen Murphy confident Roma can get around it. Oh, got a wobbly start, that one bounced out of the hand. Didn't want to be short again, but it's not the answer. So Australia's great lead. Established in the first end of the third, uh, second set being whittled away. New Zealand holding here. They've won the last two ends. Val Smith. It's been leading very well in this triples. Better than she did in the pairs. Same so, 60 centimetres past with a second. Joe Edwards. Just trying to turn your ball still, Ron. Yep, that's exactly it. This is Jack Hyde. Mm, it's hard now to promote the short Australian bowl onto the Jack. Joe Edwards' bowl is preventing a solid contact. Ben. Ben, Kaza. Ben. Yeah. Might get something. Oh, oh. gee, it tried. Back. Still looking for that bowl, John. Another couple of feet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. in with a chance here to level the scores perhaps go ahead and all the good that Australia did with that uh, count of four in the first end will have been wiped out so we're just three down, ends right? only one down yeah you just want the slide off ours or you get to here well, I think Karen will play a tightish line maybe slide off that bowl or better still trail the jack through no value being wide Got it away well enough. How does she like the line? She's on the chase. Run. Is it going to get there? It won't. <laughs> One to New Zealand. And they indeed draw level. Four all after four. The second set. New Zealand took the first. Nine six. They won three ends in a row. Just didn't quite have the legs. Karen Murphy's last, and she wanted it so badly. Not this time.
12 ends played, and New Zealand have won nine of them. Come on, Spilly. That's right. Chance for Armitage with a short bowl from Val Smith. Set something up here amongst the leads. sucked into going long after your opponent comes up a metre short, Shuey. You think, oh, gee, it's, maybe it's further than I think. Yes, yeah, plus Lindsay's just swapped to the other side of the rink and has played a few short bowls in the first set, so it. maybe Karen's yeah. mentioned to Lindsay, I'd rather you be heavy with your first rather than short. Your yard, Lindsay. Come on. really good. Close. Always better to Let's come go. back in weight as a lead rather than trying to add on after a short bowl. I would expect Lindsay Armitage to draw this shot. Skip told her a line was just about perfect. Yard off. Well She's pretty happy with that. Sharon Sims, though, thanks to play and has been of a staff in New Zealand in this triples. They've all been solid, Steve, haven't they? Sharon's played brilliant two ends ago in this direction. Joe Edwards converted when needed. Val Smith generally has outled Lindsay Armitage. I think he made a good point. Come on. New Zealand have won nine Come of 12 ends. Second shot. Well done. Right out, Dunny. Well done. So actually, either hand. I like that hand better. You touch him just around the corner. It's great. This is the type of shot that if you can make it will lead potentially to a multiple count australia holding one delicate touch on the jack would make three to australia and much make it much more difficult for new zealand well, a bit of a cheer for roma done because i think the crowd knows she's been struggling and they're trying to egg her on Yeah, it's just trying to trail the jack, but dropping short. Sharon Sims, the way she's playing, she's likely to come up and draw the shot now or trail the jack herself. Well, that's covered We're the too wrong. That far short and stop. counting. That's covered the trail Thank shot, so now Australia will have to go back and dead draw near the jack. No value in trailing the jack. laugh as much as anything Hi. but uh, there's Australia holding two they've got to deal with the, uh, the red hot hand of Joe Edwards now just a side touch on the jack hide the jack out of sight but without really trailing it backwards Karen Murphy may not even have the opportunity to do that as Joe Edwards currently two down for long Edwards it was surprisingly uh, off target for her she's been deadly Black Douglas invitation singles at South Tweed Heads on the Gold Coast and Murphy not wanting to be wide has actually gone narrow <laughs>
Final bowl for Edwards. Australia will have the last. Run down there. Run down there. Come on, come on. Down there. And sailing through. Yep, well done. Big toss. I got one now. That's Jack Hyde. Yep, this is the bowl you're beating to get another one. Are we up or down, right? We're up one. Oh, we're up. Australia in front, 5-4, need to win the second set, first to New Zealand, 9-6. It's all happening under the watchful gaze of the two managers, Australia's Cameron Curtis, New Zealand's Stu Butter, and Quentin Hull is with them both. Well, as I speak, uh, Steve, plenty of tension as uh, Cameron Curtis and Cameron and uh, Karen Murphy had a chat, but uh, Stu, it's been a, a pretty solid performance from the New Zealand girls. You must be happy with the way they've played. Yes, I am. They're playing extremely well at the moment. But it's just, you know, a matter of maintaining that pressure and also their composure. And if they can maintain that, um, you know, nice they've, they've got well. to, um, you know, play these last few ends well and um, hopefully, you know, get up and win or get a draw in, the, in this set. We're seeing it again, uh, Val Smith. She's Great done a terrific guys. job leading that. Well, it's a tough uh, standard she set herself. She's been absolutely brilliant. She has. She's been superb. And she set up um, for us in the triples and um, laid a very good platform Come for us. But one. equally so, I think Karen Murphy has played some outstanding bowls as well and been Come able on, to Lynn. turn around the head when she's been under a lot of pressure. Come on, Lens. This is the one. You got him. Armitage to Robin. A quick chat with Karen Murphy. Cameron, pressure's on. Can we divulge what was said? Well, I just said um, I think it's important we keep holding the jack, try and dictate the length. I mean, Val is going particularly well on the longer ends. Also, just a couple of strategies to try and get uh, Roma's confidence up. You know, I said to uh, Karen, it's going to be tough to get out of this one. I think if we're going to get out of it, she's going to have to try and do something against the grain to get Roma back in the game. So maybe use a bit more aggression, aggression when normally you would would draw um, and Roma has got a good ditch weighted shot so maybe get a bit more aggressive and a couple of good ditch weighted shots might just get Roma's confidence up. Come on Donny. Donny. Run this out. <coughs> Pass the blue Donny. Hurry Donny down the hill. Yeah, it's nice to slip that on, blue ball. Come on Donny. Great shot. Right. Well, that's something that's going to make you smile Cameron. If that's uh, a... The kind of bowling we can expect from Roma to finish this match, perhaps the others have a chance. Well, the wise man once told me, and I think he's sitting in the commentary box right now, that it's not how many you play, it's when you play them. And if we can get through to the uh, tie-break situation, Roma could be just the one to play that magnificent one to get us over the line. Yeah, he's a smart bloke, that's Steve Rebillion. <laughs> uh, Mr Shoeback, I think, is responsible for, for that oh, bit of wisdom. Of we were saying... Uh, Oh, Indeed, gosh, we need to get Roma, Roma's confidence up, and it's nice to hear Cameron echoing those remarks. Stu, regardless of the result here, Commonwealth Games, Melbourne, everyone's looking towards that next big event in bowls. Uh, how's the New Zealand team looking? 
Um, yes, we just named um, a squad uh, 12 um, to prepare for Commonwealth Games for the women and 14 for the men. So um, we start in the 1st of, um, of June and um, we'll have trials in August, September and then pick a side. So well, we're looking forward to it. Shot, um, Getting close to the business to end round of round uh, this, the own. sixth end of the second set. Thanks, gentlemen, and I uh, hope uh, the result favours you in the end. Can't play for both of them, but uh, well, diplomatic attempt <laughs> from Quentin. We know what you mean. Uh, who will it be at 5 4 to Australia? Three ends, two plus this one. That's a great track, too. Lovely track. It's obvious to the to coach Cameron and the other players that, that Roman needs a bit of a lift. And how do you, you know, bring a player back into the game? Are you invited to play some more weighted shots, Shui? Yeah, uh, and also just release tension, as Cameron intimated. If there's the opportunity there, I'm sure effective rate there. Australia going backwards, and New Zealand have been there around that 50% the entire match. Um, one way to just release some nerves is to have a drive. And as Cameron Curtis said, Roma Dunn can run the jack into the ditch very accurately uh, the type of head here Australia holding one but the actual head favors New Zealand I would expect Joe Edwards to convert successfully here wait on the forehand looking for the Armitage bowl plan B would be to promote Sharon Sims the second shot onto the jack not really a tough shot to play this As Cameron Curtis said, it's not when you, how many you play, it's when you play them. And Joe Edwards needs a conversion shot here. Sometimes on carpet or indeed a difficult outdoor green, it's actually better to play just over draw weight or go very quick, not in between weight. Come on, Karen. Go, Keza. Round it. Go. Well, they wanted to flop. And it won't. Australia's holding. Looks just the one. That'd be for a 6 4 lead. But uh, Joe Edwards will have last say. Well, Joe's played much more positive weight, narrower line. Is it too narrow? Oh, no. Get off that. All right. Oh, very nearly helped the Australian bowl closer to the jack. She's escaped that danger. I can take out the shot bowl. Which was Lindsay Armitage's. like just the one Oops. and that addition will give Australia a two-shot advantage two ends to play in the second set it's 6-4 to the home side It's pretty tight. Australia looking to push it to the tie break. If they can win this set, and they've got a two shot lead. This is the seventh of eight ends. Good start, Lindsay. Pretty good. Single in the previous end, giving Australia their first consecutive scores Hello. in the match. <laughs> back on track. Yeah, Val Smith just went missing for an end or two. So she's right back on it. 
as we heard Cameron Curtis, the Australian coach, saying that the Australians felt that Val was playing exceptionally well in the long ends and have kept control of the mat. Lindsay Armitage would love to trail the jack. Great try. Good. The problem is, as a lead, if you, if you do miss the weighted shot, it does allow your opponent more room to add a second. Val Smith, I'm sure, will just try to pass <coughs> her opening bowl and rest on one of maybe Lindsay's back bowls. Come on, Lily. Come on. Oh, I'd see that drive come Don't up. Don't draw a second shot with your first one, Rome. Just slide around that. Well, Good I second. Heard the Australian coach say, well, Raymond Dunn may attack more, but the Australian skip, Karen Murphy, has not invited Roma to attack. Nice target there on the forehand with weight through the gap. Oh, about second shot, you're trying for the shot. Ben, Dunny. Dunny. Close. One down, great shot. Go there. You land that. It's round, it's good. Three shots. Under that blue ball in the front. Yep. Well, here's the <laughs> weighted shot coming up from Roma Dunn. might feel she can trail towards those 17 oh, third shots. Yeah, there's four Australian bowls no, there all behind. The New Zealand holding first and here, second. Good too. Right. So there's the four Aussie bowls all in a line waiting for the jack. And that's where Karen Murphy will be hoping to trail the jack too, of that area. Problem is, they're a metre behind. And if Karen Murphy plays weight and misses... Good chance. Multiple county to New late. Zealand would be a disastrous result for the Australian combination. That's number three to New Zealand. Brilliant bowling, Sharon Sims. Three shots have put them back in the lead in the second set. They trail 6 4 at the moment. As the skips go to the mat, Murphy under pressure. Yeah, well, when you're 6 4 up, Steve, with two to play, you don't look for the Hollywood shot and trail the jack, as I just mentioned. You just come in here, draw there, or rest on the shot bowl. Go one down. Worst case scenario. The Australian skip must be thinking one down. Absolute maximum number of shots I am going to concede on this end. Karen plays weight and misses. It could well be the match. Come on, Kazzy. You've got to land here. She's playing weight. Nothing for close. Still three down. Not the right shot to play given the scoreboard. Does it fitter? Yeah. Yeah. Draw to that box. Yeah, find a little find one of the holes. Well, Karen Murphy's gone to Cameron Curtis and say, what'll I do now? Will I play weight? Will I draw? What's the coach gonna say? <laughs> play the shot you think you can get now. <laughs> Still holding three, stand New Jack Zealand. Run, I'll stand Jack high. I think the coach says come back to the draw, Karen. Get second shot. And I think that's what Cameron would have preferred to see Karen Murphy do. Yeah, she's back on the draw. Better to have two bites at the cherry. Murphy, three down. Last bowl. run through falls in but is it still like us for three 
Sharon Sims, easy to please. You do as you want. So backhand. Holding th three, perhaps. Trust good. Wait looks handy too. Now, what's that done? Peel one out. Requires some measuring from Amy Sheether again. Certainly narrowed the margin to one. Can they level? Can they take the lead? Well, my guess is three, Steve, and that's not a good result for Australia. Well, maybe only two. Mm -hmm. That one's in. Guys. And two to New Zealand. And six all, one end to play in the second set. Will they keep or give the mat away? And that was the last ball from Joe Edwards. Possibly holding three. Australia has the mat. It's been given it uh, by New Zealand, who want last shot here. Try and wrap it up in straight sets. Come on, Lynn. Pretty good today, Modi. Well played, Lindsay. Well, Lindsay. One shot or more to New Zealand here, and it's their match. One shot or more to Australia, and we go to a tie break. Yes, this is where the hours and hours and thousands of practice bowls come into effect. Dreamt of situations like this, playing a match-winning bowl for your country. Tense up at all, you will drop short. Australia has been at low 40% range the entire match. That's the problem when you drop <laughs> Jump on it, crucial Danny, stage of the match, you drop your first bowl yours, short. Man. Val Smith does not want to <laughs> drop another one short, flies through a couple of metres. The set winner, I don't think, has been played yet. Armitage holding one. Come on, Danny. Come on, Roma. Come on, New Zealand has won ten Danny. ends to five, but Roma Dunn has arrived with a good shot on cue. Yes, well, <laughs> that's what Cameron Curtis, the Australian coach, was hoping for. All that experience into play but Steve it is not it is shot but it is not what is termed a good shot jack high fairly easy conversion shot for Sharon Sims oh you've got a reach to convert wow <laughs> All right, I think we've got to draw a touch before they do down there your jack high little touch of that bar is really good for us or you turn yours in behind the jack 
perfect lesson for all club bowlers. Australia holding, but it is not a good one. Murphy wants the jack shifted. Take the shot away from the opposition. Got it away well. Come on, dummy. Like your weight, like your weight, Ryan. Tell you what, you are close to this. Ramadan. Ramadan might have something here. <laughs> Just in time, Ramadan finds some form. She's, oh, I bet she's relieved inside. Yeah, no, <laughs> the heart there. will be racing. On, Two great Jack bowls from Ramadan. Jack High, better still, trail it away. <laughs> oh, teammates happy. Oh. <laughs> My goodness me, some of the. <laughs> The boards on the side of the rink have just collapsed onto the rink just as she released the bowl. I don't think it put her off. It, but uh, it's going to be. Uh, this is. Uh, well, they were would have been in the corner of her eye just as it happened. Well, even the signage is getting nervous. <laughs> All the applause. <laughs> Coach Happy. Put your foot out there. Right no, why that happened? No one's feet are really near it. Maybe the Fremantle doctor did arrive. Australia's holding one, and one is enough to force the tie break. Not sure who's second second shot, Steve. There's okay. a backhand drive on for Joe Edwards if New Zealand have second. Yeah, yep. you know, that's the problem there. See, through the gap, the shot bowl can go clean out. Now, if she would not be playing that shot, Joe Edwards, if she was two down. So she must feel that New Zealand have second shot. she find a way through there well i'd stay away from the target i'd still be you know if you just get to here well you cannot stay you, is mine past the blue one if it goes past yep so inside mine same sort of line well the armitage bowl according to our concentric circles second shot so in that case it is okay to stay away from the target maybe cover the back of the rink or to go to a tie break. Edwards was very close with the first Come attempt. Come on, Joe. Here we go, here we go. Stop. Oh, did not stop enough. <laughs> and I think that's one to Australia. That is. One to Australia and a 7-6 victory in the second set. It was good contact on the shot bowl, but it just rolled too far away. No luck for the Silver Ferns there. Australians look pretty excited that they've got it to a tie break. Mm. Encouraging each other. They're up for this. Australia's so are the Kiwis. Well, pretty well down again, Lens. Oh, should be up here to see this, Lens. <laughs> Great. Great. Karen Murphy taking a real leadership role out there in terms of encouraging her, her teammates. 
Yes, and that's something the Australian coach Cameron Curtis has demanded of Karen Murphy. I like that line. You should be up here to see this. That's, uh, that's good. Lindsay may chase this bowl to the head if she feels it's a good delivery. Oh, a bit concerned, but going after it anyway. Come on, Lindsay, pass it. Pass, check by. Pass. 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 Yeah, it's good. Very close, can I? Line's good. Come on, shot's good. The number of shots by which a team wins an end in a tie break doesn't really matter. First team to win two ends. And Val Smith, she's been leading so well throughout the match, and just the last few ends. Out here, Rome. Now the first end of the tiebreaker. Two bowls in front, you make a count. Does not have one bowl within a metre of the jack. Roma Dunn had a good previous end. Come on, Donny. Come on, Donny. few for her in this triples match. Yes, it was Close. a match saving Come end on, from Roma Dunn. Slip it, Slip it, Donny. Slip it. Slip it, Donny. Coach oh, has been in hibernation <laughs> for about 14, 15 ends. And has woken up in time to maybe save the match for Australia. Well, not to save the match, maybe Slip win it. the match, Steve. Slip it, Donny. <laughs> Combination of youth and experience. There's no more experienced players in the world than Sharon Sims and Joe Edwards. Go on that then. We're not fussy. Right, Rome. You're out here. We're holding. Pass your own on the same sort of line. Try and try and get into here. Now the two Australian bowls that are counting are close together. So Karen's saying run for cover now, but tactically probably trying to get a backward in early but the two australian bowls can be driven off on the right hand side of the jack australia need a third shot preferably away from the existing two are you like her on the forehand yeah yeah okay so you don't think australia's holding third there that armitage bowl might be third shot could well if it is steve it well australia must keep away from the head and sooner or later we're going to see some type of weight looking for the jack and here it comes now tight line way tight a pair of jeans after a big meal mate too tight well there's the third shot it is the armitage bowl so that is a good head for australia so if the two shot bowls are driven out australia have plenty <laughs> how he said don't worry i've got two in there Karen, you come at the back. Keep away from the jack. Nice position to be in. Best back bowl would be ideal. Maybe a metre or two away from the ditch. not sure what Joe Edwards would play I <laughs> had a reference to a plant then yeah and it wasn't a rhododendron <laughs> it's just a question of which hand I think Joe will play weight looking at either trailing the jack through or taking out the two bowls it looks better on the forehand but she, Joe's playing backhand because the plant is lined up on the backhand with weight she might drive the jack into the ditch or take out the two Australian nearest bowls. Needs to make contact with the opening bowl. Now there's big trouble because Joe Edwards will need the jack. We're gonna lose. Will we win the spot over there, Lynn, with that weight? They're good. Touch and go, I think. Do you want me to draw to that spot now, Dunny? I would. Yep. Good call. Raymond Dunn, quick call. See Raymond's left foot. Out here, cover the spot. 
Joe Edwards needs the jack. Now, two Australian shot bowls are no good. Armitage has third shot.